Solving quadratic equation factorizations. In previous video, we have learned that to solve quadratic equations, we divide the quadratic equations into three classes, uh, where for the first type, b equal to zero, second class, a c equal to zero, and the third one, b and c, is not equal to zero. And we have learned how to solve the first two classes, right? So now we move on to the third classes. And to solve a quadratic equations where the b and c is not equal to zero, we have three methods, the factorizations, completing square, and the quadratic formula. And uh, for factorizations, we rewrite the quadratic equations into this form. We call it the factors form. And for completing the square, we rewrite the quadratic equations into this form. Okay. And uh, for quadratic formula, we find the coefficient a, b, and c for the quadratic equations, which is in a uh, general form, and then so we plug in all these coefficients into this formula, and straight away we can find the answer. Okay, and for this video, I'm going to focus on factorizations methods to solve the quadratic equations. Okay, let's see this example. We have a quadratic equations. If we factorize these quadratic equations into this form then we can solve these quadratic equations easily because we have learned that if the product of two numbers or two terms or two expression is equal to zero, then one of it must be equal to zero. Therefore, for this case, it's either x plus one equal to zero or x minus two equal to zero. And if x plus one equal to zero, then x equal to negative 1, and if x minus 2 equal to 0, then x equal to 2. That's how we solve quadratic equations by factorizations. However, the question is, how do we factorize a quadratic equations like this into the factors forms like this? And this is exactly what are we going to discuss in this video, okay? Let's see this example x squared plus 10x plus 21 equal to 0, okay? To factorize the quadratic equations means we rewrite the quadratic equations into the multiplications of two expressions like this, okay? So we have two brackets uh, side by side with each other, okay? So we would like to write it in this form. For factorizations, actually it's easy for us to write the brackets uh, one on top of another, okay? This one is a, is a bracket, one next to each other, okay? And this one, the, the bracket is one on top of another, okay? So it's better to write the brackets in uh, this form. Actually, they are the same, they are the same. It's just easy to see it if we put it this way, okay? And uh, to solve quadratic equations, we need to find uh, each of these terms one by one. And the very first terms that we are going to find is the x squared terms, uh, x squared terms. And we need to find the factors of x squared. So it means what times what equal to x squared. And this is easy because we know that x times x equal to x squared. And immediately we got our first terms, uh, x squared. X squared. And the next term that we are going to find is the constants, the positive 21, not the x term first. X terms will be found uh, last. Okay, so let's see uh, what are the factors of uh, 21. Okay, we know that 1 times 21 equals 21, and also uh, 3 times 7 equals 21. Okay, so we can put these two into uh, this bracket to see whether we got 10x or not. However, uh, we have a, a easy guide for us to choose which one is the correct one. In order to see which one is the more suitable factors to be put into the brackets, we see the sum of uh, these two factors. Okay, If the sum of the two factors equal to the coefficients of the x terms, then this should be the good uh, answer. Okay, So in this case, uh, 1 plus 21 equals 22. Uh, 3 plus 7 equal to 10. So look like uh, we have a better chance for uh, 3 and 7. Okay, so let's put uh, these two factors into the bracket. Positive 7 and positive 3. Now if both of these are x, so uh, whether we put the 3 first or 7 first, it makes no difference. 
Okay, unless one of it is uh, 2x or 3x or 4x, then uh, the order of these two constants will make a difference. Okay, so well, so I can put my 7 here, 3 here. I can also put my 3 here, 7 here. Uh, you will get the same result, okay? And the products of these two factors is 21, right? 21, eh? okay? So now I got my second term, so positive 21. And now the last one is to find uh, 10x. 10x okay now if we temporarily put our expressions into these two brackets um, you can see that the 10x the x term actually is come from uh, the multiplications of the x and the constants in another expressions right okay x times 3 yeah? we get 3x so therefore uh, to get our x terms uh, we multiply this x with this positive 3 okay and also we can find we can get another uh, x terms uh, by multiplying seven with x. Eh? Okay, so x times a positive seven. Okay, so we call this uh, cross multiplications. So cross multiplications we can get our x terms. Eh? X times positive seven, uh, we got uh, positive seven x, and x times positive three, we got uh, positive three x, and the sum. Of these two terms equal to positive 10x. Take note that this one is the product of these two terms and this one is the product of these two terms but this one is the sum of these two terms. It's not the product. Eh? 7 plus 3 you get 10. This is 7 times 3 you get uh, 21. Okay so now we got all the three terms that we want and therefore uh, these two expressions is the factor of this quadratic equation. So let's write it. And once we got our quadratic equations in this form, then we can solve it easily right? because one of it must be equal to zero. So x plus seven equal to zero or x plus three equal to zero. And therefore x equal to negative seven or x equal to negative three. So this is how we solve uh, quadratic equations by factorizations. Let's see another example x squared minus 20, x minus 21 equal to 0. And for this case, uh, the coefficients of x and the constant is negative. And uh, this is a little bit complicated than the previous one. Anyway, let's start. Uh, let's write the two bracket. And let's find the x squared term first. And x times x, I get my x squared. And then uh, let's find my negative 21. And the factors of negative 21s can be uh, negative 1 and 21, 1 and negative 21, negative 3 and 7, or 3 and negative 7. Okay, just now we learned that the sum of uh, these two factors will give the coefficients of x. So um, let's try this one first. Okay, let's try a 1 and 20, negative 1 and 21, I can get 20. Yeah? So let me put this into my bracket here, negative one and uh, positive 21. So the products of these two terms is equal to negative 21. This is exactly what I want. And then uh, the next thing is to find this uh, x term. And then so remember we do the cross multiplications, right? So x multiplied by negative one, I get negative one x and x times a positive 21, I got a positive 21 x. Okay, and the sum of it is positive 20x. Uh oh, this is not what I want. Okay, so um, here I have negative 20x, but here I got positive 20x. So, uh, so means that uh, these two factors is not uh, what I want. Okay, so let's try another pair of uh, these uh, factors. Uh, okay, one and negative 21. Let me put my positive one here and uh, my negative 21 here, and then uh, the products will be negative 21 okay this is what i uh, looking for and across multiplications uh, x times a positive one uh, to get a positive one x and x times a negative 21 to get a negative 21 x and the sum of these two terms is equal to negative 20 x and this is exactly what i want okay so therefore i can uh, rewrite these equations into this factors form uh, x plus one and x minus 21 uh, plus 1 x minus 21 and then solve it so 
So x plus 1 equal to 0, x minus 21 equal to 0, and therefore x equal to negative 1 or x equal to 21. Let's continue with another more complicated question. Okay. 3x squared plus 11x plus 6 equal to 0. Now, in this case, the coefficients of x squared is not equal to 0. It's equal to 3, and this will make... Uh, the process more complicated because we have a lot more combinations, okay? Anyway, let's start with the two brackets. Um, to get 3x squared, we multiply 3x with x, uh, okay? So we got 3x squared. And for positive 6, okay, so the factors of 6, um, 1 and 6 or uh, 2 and 3, uh, equal to 6. Uh. So we can plug in these two pairs of uh, factors into this bracket and then try to see uh, whether we get 11x or not. Or we can make a good guess, okay? Let's try. Before we plug inside, let's try uh, mentally. Okay, if I put my 3 here, so 3x times 3, I get my 9x. 9x, and then I put my 2 here, x times 2, I get my 2x. And 2x plus 9x, I got my 11x, 11x. Look like this will be a good guess, right? Okay, so let's put my 2 and 3 here. Okay, uh, the products of these two factors is positive 6. Okay, this is exactly what I want. And then uh, to find positive 11x, let's do cross multiplications. And I have my positive 2x and uh, positive 9x. And the sum of these two terms is positive 11x and again this is exactly what i want and therefore these two are the factors of these quadratic equations great okay and then we solve it 3x plus 2 equal to 0 x plus 3 equal to 0 and therefore x equal to negative 2 over 3 or x equal to 3. okay one last example solve the quadratic equations 5x uh, times 2x minus 7 equal to 21 minus 6x. Okay. Um, now, this equation is not in the general form, eh? and the right-hand side is not equal to 0. So we need to rewrite this uh, quadratic equation so that it's in general form. Eh? Okay. So let's copy these questions here. And then uh, 5x times uh, 2x, I got uh, 10x squared. 5x times negative 7, I get a uh, negative 35x and, um, and then 21 minus 6x. And to make the right hand side zero, I need to shift these two terms to the left. Okay, so negative 6x become positive 6x and 21 become negative 21. And I can uh, group this uh, x terms together. And this is a quadratic equations. And this is in general form. And then now I can start to factorize it and to factorize it, uh, I draw two brackets, okay? So uh, let me do my factorizations here. And uh, to get 10x squared, I, I have two pairs of factor, 1x and 10x, or 2x and 5x. Uh, uh, you can try both, okay? I will try my 2x and 5x first to see whether I uh, get the answer or not. If I can't get the answer, then I will try another one, okay? So 5x and 2x, okay? The, the, the products of this is uh, 10x squared, so I get my uh, first terms. And next, I need to get my negative 21. So the factors of 21 uh, can be 1 and 21 and 3 and 7. Okay, let me try 3 and 7. And since it's negative 21, so one of it must be negative. Uh, let me try positive 3 and negative 7. If I can't get my answer, then I can try negative 3 and positive 7. Okay. Um, the product of it is negative 21. And uh, this is exactly what I want. Okay. And then... Uh, to find negative 29x, I do cross multiplications. 2x times uh, 3, I get uh, positive 6x. 5x times negative 7, I get uh, negative 35x. And the sum of these two terms is equal to negative 29x. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Great. I don't need to try the other pairs. So I can write these two expressions uh, into this uh, equation here and then I can solve it and this is my answer okay so this is how I solve for quadratic equations
So in next video, I'm going to discuss uh, how to solve a quadratic equations by using completing square. Probably another video uh, to discuss how to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. I hope you enjoy these lessons. Thank you very much.